What is up, ShoeTube? Al Hoodrich here. I'm the Hoodrich Hall. Another Hoodrich review. And we'll be reviewing the Nike Air Indestruct that was worn by none other than the worm, Dennis Rodman. We have the blue, the red, and the white and navy blue colorway here. Uh, I had to grab these up a while back. These were one of my favorite shoes. I remember my first signature shoe was an airworm shoe, but it was the one with the, uh, the zipper on the front that said airworm on the back. One of my first jerseys was, uh, was a Charles Barkley one and then uh, the Rodman one. It was just my, my play style because when we used to run 5v5 back in the day, it was the, you know, I like to defend in the paint and getting elbows and fighting for the rebounds. I just that was my play style and just doing working in the post doing post moves with no hops i had no hops but i had I had some moves quick hands quick feet that's how i ran but they uh nike aaron indestruct from 96 if you haven't watched the nike more up tempo scotty pippen video go ahead and watch that this was a great time for these sneakers right here because that was 96 and that was the time jordan was wearing the iconic 11s, patent leather. You had Pippen wearing his more up tempos right there. Don't forget to watch that video. Um, the design elements of being my favorite uh, top shoes, them being uh, materials, leather, and some synthetic. Uh, the jewel elements here, big logos. Got like the big logos. The I really like this one because of the unique design of the lacing system you got going on here. Of course, I had to get the pair of the blue and the red so I could get, uh, you know, a Detroit Pistons jersey uh, to go with the Dennis Rodman because he was uh, originally on the Pistons, also where he received his first ring before he landed on the uh, Chicago Bulls. He did play a little bit with the San Antonio Spurs with the Admiral David Robinson for a little bit. Um, visible air unit, another reason why I love these shoes. Um, you got the perforated toe. Uh, no, this is the only place you're gonna get any ventilation. The fit, I would say with these, a uh, little roomy, good for wide footers. Um, do they hoop? Yeah, they hoop. They got herringbone traction there pretty big. These are like tanks, like the Jordan 12s and anything around that time era. They were made of durable materials, so these will last you quite a bit. You got some ballistic nylon in the middle, kind of like the uppers of the Jordan 11s. Uh, what else can I say about them? They're dope. You got the little Air Indestruct logo in the back. Big midsole. Look at that outrigger right there. Uh, do these hoop? Yeah, they hoop. Um, not a lot of court feel, decent cushioning, not the best, uh, but for its time. I, I really think these are very comfortable. I like how that Nike swoosh logo comes up through the heel there. You got really deep herringbone traction. And, uh, how they work indoors, not so sure. Outdoors, pretty dope. Um, and then especially when you lock in this strap, there's another element why these are cool. Once you put that strap in, your your ankles feel really secure and they're they're pretty padded a lot a lot of padded uh polyurethane foam uh i mean polyurethane midsole right there uh it's just it's dope you're you're covered uh if you see they had uh kind of like taking the same design elements of the jordan 11 because you kind of see that thing there uh, there's a lot of people that kind of copied that element including reebok as you see, you kind of got that that stitching going around the outside. So you got you gotta love the influence and the impact that Jordan had back in the 90s and with the sneaker. But these, let's go take a closer look in the Hoodrich vision of the Nike Air Indestruct. Alright guys, we're in the Hoodrich Vision. Do a quick weight test here. Nike Air Indestruct, and we are looking at, get on a flat surface, one pound, 
two ounces. I believe the up tempos. Oh, I did not weigh the up tempos. So we might as well get the weight on those right here. 1.39. So pretty similar in weight. Pretty heavy shoes, guys. But what you're getting is durability here. So we'll go through the first colorway will be blue. And we got the red, university red, and the white navy. Guys, a lot of the design elements that I like. The air bubble there. Kind of like the cat's eye and the Jordan 13. Like that stitched in swoosh there, guys. That nice kind of tumbled leather look there covering your front. And as you go to the toe. <coughs> excuse me. I had some peanuts earlier. I had one scratch my throat. Get the perforated. And then go to the lateral. I'm sorry, medial side. It's the shoe lacing system. Now how this works, guys, it works pretty good. You pull these tight, and then you get the strap. Put it through your little hoop. And you'll just lock your ankle down. Look at that. Very secure. Gotta love the branding there. Visible air unit. Uh, they did put blue there. Little hits of blue. There's the basketball logo. A lot of padding on the inside. A lot of padding. Uh, not a lot of branding, right, guys? Just kidding. There's some on the toe. The bottom got that ferocious herringbone traction all the way to the heel. Here's the red. Same materials. And really love the design of this. There's the red in the air unit. Red swoosh in the back. The red stitching with the gear on the strap. Got the metal little aglets. Just really dope shoe, guys. There's the red. Yes, they've been worn. Here's the white and navy. Nice clean look here. And this white doesn't get dirty easy. Well, the mesh does. The ballistic mesh, you see. But on this outside, it's just a good wipe down. And you gotta love the quality in the stitching of the Dennis Rodman's Nike Air Indestruct. Which really, I wish they would re-release these again and just put some more colorways. Uh, they're probably just not that popular. But I'm gonna tell you, they are comfortable shoes, guys. These are comfortable. And they, they really should do a re-release of these. Whoa, here we go.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video of the Nike Air Indestruct. Nike Air Shake Indestruct. It's a weird, long name. I've probably been saying it wrong. But this is a dope shoe, guys. My tripod's losing a leg. It's collapsing. But the blue, the red, the white navy. Like I said, Nike, y'all need to re-release this. This is a great shoe. Iconic back in the day. If y'all know, comment. Let me know what colorway you had back in the day or what you wanted. Or you seen somebody else wearing. But they need to re-release these and do separate colorways. I remember they had one on the Concord. They had a patent leather, like just like the Jordan 11s. They have the, they had like a one called the Easter colorway, and that looks dope using some patent leather. But they can do a lot of things and collabs with this. I really hope they get on board. I think for some reason they're just not that popular, or they don't want to pay Rodman some royalties. Who knows? But this has been another Hoodrich Hall Hoodrich review. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to pump out unique videos for you guys. And did I talk about playability? 